Uh, it definitely came from like a sort of uh, a modern idea of like people's idea of perfection and beauty and that this is where it's at and uh, that there is ideas of some norms and not some norms and that this world wants to create a perfect society and well, uh, utopians don't really exist and that's kind of where it came about. Um, I, I, I don't remember. It was, uh, <laughs> we were sitting on a bus on the way back from a trip uh, to Skywalker Ranch and I said, hey, we should make something called Zorb. <laughs> that actually is the story. No, there's a. You guys, you guys went to a toy store in, and you were you you were coming back from the trip, going like, oh, we want to make like toys. I remember that was the whole thing. And then it was, what would the toys be called? And you just kept saying the word Zorb over and over again. And we we found that word really funny. Um, and then yeah, you guys literally pitched the, almost all the characters on that bus ride. Yeah, what Peter said. Uh, this one, uh, I don't know, where, 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 where did it come from? Uh, you, you had, all right, it came, it came from, did anybody watch, how many people have seen the first ABC's of Death? Yeah. You remember a uh, Ty West segment? This is the tell-all Q&A. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this, was, this was me remaking Ty West segment to be, uh, to be better. Oh. <laughs> the other idea was uh, Zed is for Zoophilia which is uh, loving animals. But after doing research and watching hours and hours of bestiality, you just realize there's, there's not a movie here. It's just a, just a pile of used Kleenex. Uh, lots and lots of favors. I mean, all the crew, all the cast uh, came up for free, donated a time, two days worth. Uh, and lots of uh, pleading and begging. Just pretty came down to it, yeah. Uh, in some cases, we were building like hours before we shot it. The Zorb costume came together like I think three hours before we filmed them. Or while we were shooting, we'd be building the next thing. Yeah, there were some cases where we'd be shooting like the Fantasy Man scenes and then building Fungor's costume for the next day. Uh, in that case, I have to thank my wonderful crew who refuses to come down. Uh, <laughs> Pat Baxter came out for a day and he helped uh, pull Fungor together, which was a huge help. So yeah, I would like a round of applause for everyone who helped out on these movies. Uh, it wouldn't happen without you guys. Thank you so much. Most of our budget went towards special effects. Um, and the rest just came from big old favors. I owe like about four years of favors to people. About 30 of them are in this audience right now. They donated their time, their cars, their just energy and, and uh, support. And that's how we made it. We made it with love, guys. <laughs> Which is what we wanted. I mean, it was a pretty sizable crew. Um, we had uh, probably on, on location at one time like 10, 10 people. Which um, and it, 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 we shot for four days in November in, a, in that house, which did not have any heat at the time. It was very cold, and Delphine unfortunately couldn't be here, the actress. And I felt we all felt really, really bad for what we should, we were putting her through. Uh, but she was an incredible professional. And then we came back in January to shoot four to five more days, and then a bunch of studio days. All the stuff coming out of the mouth is in multiple locations because we kept get, getting kicked out of places once they saw what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like five different floors, but no one can tell, thankfully. I also should give a shout out to Raph and Willem, the two kids in the short who did an amazing job. And I mean, you look at him. You look at the shit we put them through, and like it's preposterous. They're troopers, and uh, like it, the movie wouldn't be the same without them. Biggest challenge with the location, Vincenzo is like, I want like this utopian, massive, like gorgeous place, and like you know, you know the budget we have. And he's like, I don't care, buy me it. Uh, and so we ended up deciding, well, let's go to a city hall. So we ended up going to Vaughn City Hall because like, you know it's a brand new building and. We go in there, we're taking pictures, and they security very quickly came around us and kicked us out in minus 20 degree weather. And we're just here for a scout. Like, we don't care. You're taking pictures of City Hall. You're going to vomit. Um, and so we're waiting outside in minus 20 degree weather. And they're like, well, these guys look legit. Maybe okay. Finally get permission. We go back three more times until we eventually finally secure the location. But there's no subway up to Vaughn. So we had to bring 30, 40 people up to Vaughn by some miraculous way. So we ended up renting a bus the day before production. Uh, and then we get everyone up to Vaughn. And then, yeah, that was our biggest challenge, the location.